welcome to British Motor Show, right? So we are outside at the moment. Uh, it's kind of a bit of disappointing um, show, f uh, well, it's my opinion. Um, I just browsed through both holes and uh, outside exhibitions. Um, it's nothing really much of British Motor Show. You have um, Cinch uh, sponsoring all this event, so it's about just Cinch and um, another car leasing brand. Um, it's just more about them than anything else. Um, um, probably if they wouldn't be Cinch sponsoring this event, probably this wouldn't even go ahead, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah, um, there's nothing much of British Motor Motor Show at all, of British Motoring. Uh, so you go outside uh, all the way around you got um classic car clubs and um breakdown assistance companies and um and then, then what, what else you can have some food yeah the food probably the food most important most important bit of the british motoring show i apologize i slagging the show down but um it is a bit of more commercial thing um and just money making um um, events like probably most of them but I mean this is kind of bit stands out of the most right um, there are a few um, how you can say um, you can ex explore some uh, some ridings um, some rides um, more specific um, experiences basically um, which are made for public uh, to try. Um, there's a catering stand there, do some some rides over there, so you can experience of a um, bit of um, sport car experience around the, around the track. And um, on the left here, we got some classic rovers, uh, which, fortunately, which unfortunately is a classic as a rover and bankrupt. Uh, one of the sort of classic, iconic um, British marks uh, brands. Um, most of the other brands are, as you know, um, sold to um, different countries, to different um, businesses. Um, as the British brands don't have money anymore to invest um, and are in financial difficulties. And uh, so, yeah, so this is. Um, bit of great classics as we can see um, and soon the electric cars will come uh, come in and probably there will be new trend just put them on electrics as it's, as it's already growing the market um, so that's a bit of our time that's a bit apologize it's um, it's a bit um, boring review of British Motor Show but unfortunately that's how I feel here um, and um, in the main hall, I will go through the main hall as well. Um, again, there's not many um, manufacturers there. I believe it's more likely because of the Cinch is sponsoring the event and it's just um, uh, why would you want to put your car there, brand uh, if the Cinch is sponsoring the event, um, which is used car sales. Um, um, used car sales um, platform. And some of the these are more American um, classics, you know, um, Corvettes uh, than British. Um, they have some iconic Lotus um, brands here as well located. But yeah, um, I will go through uh, inside hall. Uh, we'll show you what's going on. Um, some of the Fords, some of the Ford GTs, 40s, you know, those are again nothing to do with. Um, British Motor Show, but obviously you bring everything together. So if there would be just a British Motor Show, probably there would be <laughs> only a few brands out there, and uh, probably not many people attended. Again, I apologise, but um, if you do like um, cars, and do, um, the main main goal why I'm doing for me is um, helping people to make sure they're buying a good car. So if you want to follow, click on the YouTube link and click subscribe. My main goal vision is to help people buy a good car. All right, some of the classic cars I had to look through, you know, they're all overpriced, you know, it's just you can find so many visual defects and uh, 
if there's so many visual defects um, technically uh, in, 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 in around the bonnets and corners and um, the boot corners and um, and uh, near the where the roof uh, links with D panel and and a, uh, and a quarter panel, you know you got some rust spots and um, that all will cost a lot of money to rectify. And to me, the, if you're buying a car, make sure those things doesn't exist. And if they do, you know, just reduce the price. The, 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 as it would, it would, I'll guarantee you'll spend ten grand on any classic car you're gonna buy, unless is is in a. Uh, pristine condition you know so it's pristine condition they have to they have to be certain criteria for them to 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 actually qualify to be in a pristine condition now he actually describes itself pristine so that's how you have to be pristine where you look at it and you you can't find anything where you can uh, um, put your eyes and it's nah this is not right this is not right this is not right any marks and any rust spots so um, if you do buy in a car and you need help, you know, uh, my mission and everyone on a platform um, who are working on a platform, we only have dedicated inspectors, um, special people who meet our criteria. That it's, it's not just any Tom, Dick and Harry mechanic. Um, we will refer, reflect to them um, as the trade has a bad name. Um, well, it's predominantly because of the trade itself. Um, so we can help you to make sure you're buying the right car um, and c compared to the issues found in the vehicle you can simply um, negotiate the price get the best deal or if you find it investment would be too much and that's what you not anticipated at all just walk away learn to walk away from the bad deal you know or if it's in your mind a bad deal because your imagination was slightly different that's the main priority you so we're protecting you um, if you like what we do, click the link, subscribe, um, share, follow, um, and you will see me on the next video. Take care.